Hello there and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we've got a little update on our 150 project. We haven't got very far with it yet. We're still waiting for stuff to turn up. Uh, we've got the piston. We've got the inlet manifold. Somewhere. And what we haven't managed to do the rebore yet. So yeah, I uh, didn't get all the parts yet, but don't worry. So we have got the the piston and the inlet manifold so far and we've got some work a little bit of work done on the cylinder head which I'll show you in a minute in the video but I also received through the post today a little gift from my friend Sticky woohoo yes they're awesome great set thanks Sticky um, no they're for yeah. these are actually uh, they're not party tits, no, uh, they're actually from Blackadder. <laughs> Great booze up, Blackadder. <laughs> um, no, they're actually to cover your, in, uh, the, cover your case in, in, intake. When you're working on the engine, you can block them off so you don't get all the crap going in. Pretty good. Looks like he's uh, done them on a 3D printer. Cheers, mate. Great idea. Fucking brilliant. And I've got the 151 as well. So, excellent. I'll put them to good use. Thanks very much, buddy. Right, let's get on and have a look at my cylinder head then. Okay, uh, I thought we'd do the little update on our 150 project that we're doing. Uh, at the moment, I'm working on the head because we still haven't got the boring head to be able to do the rebore on the barrel so the barrel is waiting at the moment uh, we might be able to match the manifold in but until I've done the rebore uh, I don't want to go much further with it so uh, we're working on this so what we've done this was a CASA uh, SS200 head that we had so what I've done is we've now reduced the spigot down to uh, 58.2 the bore's going to be 58.4 plus the clearance so we've now got this at 58.2 so that should fit in the bore once it's rebored uh, we've redone the profile on here to match the uh, the new piston Let's have a look here's the piston that we're going to be using It's got a coating on it, it's quite nice. Uh, so that has now been reprofiled to match the profile of this piston. And uh, the way I have to do the profile is because I'm not a fantastic Super Depth Fandango machinist, is simply I use this as a pivot and I add an arm on the back, and this is how I do my radius on the inside of this edge is with this so we just nip it slightly so the longer you have your tool the shallower the radius is the shorter you put your tool the more the more radius you get so you just have to faff about with it a bit until you get the correct radius inside the uh, inside the cylinder head once you've got it right then you're on a winner it's just a matter of trial and error at first but I've pretty well got it how I want it uh, fairly easily because I've done it quite a few times now. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all you have to do. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to do. So we've skimmed that. Uh, the volume more or less has stayed almost the same. So once we've, once we've uh, got the piston and everything, we'll check the, uh, the volume of the head and see what our compression ratio is and uh, whether whether I decide to change the volume I don't know yet we'll see when we uh, when we check the volume of the head but yeah that's uh, as far as I've got so far uh, now I'm waiting for more equipment to turn up and if my boring head doesn't turn up within the next few days it's been a while now uh, I'm probably gonna order another one so uh, to make sure I get one. Better go and do the tracking on it. Anyway, 
that's about it it's only a short video just to show you that uh, when I can get time I'll do the mapping on the ports and stuff but I want to do the rebar first because the rebar is going to affect the mapping so I've got to get the rebar done first before I start on the ports yeah that's about it I hope you've enjoyed that little little uh, update and I'll let you know in the future how we get on should be quite interesting thanks very much okay that's the end of my video don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell and make sure you put all notifications because otherwise you won't get all my videos and my updates thanks everybody see you later